sitting up Chris T, maybe hoping for the same result, maybe hoping for a W against Punk, but that's going to be hard to come by, especially considering how many games, how many sets has Punk lost this entire season of mm -hmm. SFL. That's right. Yeah, this is going to be real, as real as it gets. Here we go. Punk is going to be sitting up first for Nasser. Chris Tatarian still trying to find the confidence within him. We've seen what he's capable of in the States. Let's see how he does in the grand stage. It's going to be Ken versus Cammy. Here we go. All right. Chris T going up against Punk. I can't remember how time he saw, how many times we've seen this, even in Street Fighter V. I really don't know. I don't think we saw it too often towards the end of it, man. Uppercut still. Coming in Chris Tatarian with the full conversion. I was gonna say the full confidence and also the full reaction. But speaking of, yo, full confidence, there's a lot of these OD uppercuts hitting from the side of Punk. He just has such great awareness, great game sense against other players. Gets the counter hit this time. Looking for a button backdash there by Chris T. Nice read on the jump. Gets the confirm, gets the uppercut anti-air, but did not get the setup after he got that overhead kick. Ooh. Oh, we've actually got Punk to flinch, but luckily Punk didn't suffer too much damage. Man, a very sneaky Dragon Lash. Oh, that's gonna that's hit. Smart. So smart for Punk. Didn't want to eat any more chip damage. And actually just threading that opening or finding that opening is so pivotal. Now, it's all in control for Punk. Building some of that oh, drive gauge back. Look at the life lead dwindle away. Oh, puts himself in the corner. Chris T gets the uppercut. Burnout still on the Good table. Job. No Good meter job. to save you this time. Back throw for the round. Chris the T the takes the first round for Bandits. Man. There's no way you can't talk about what Mena RD has accomplished with this team. Ooh, punish! Ooh, nice sweep. Back throw. They switch sides. Ooh. Look at the way that Chris Atarian is playing right now. He's looking for a oh, The DI. Off, but it's going to be so, so important for Punk to make the most of this side switch as well. He does so. Spending the level one, excuse me. Pushes back to the corner though. Interrupt by Chris T. He spins the level three. No CA, so she will live to see the rest of the day. However, Chris T in a very strong situation. Oh my God. Had to confirm, didn't get the full combo though. Wait a minute. Okay. Spins the super. Chris Tarion actually had it in his hands to get a full confirm. Not like this. You're going to be locked down. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, it hurts uh, so much. Uh, it hurts so much, but it hurts so good. Punk the God staying alive here, and it's only game one. We hit the top of the beat. That Cammy thing doing extra work right now. Punk trying to get him to the corner. All quiet on the SFL front. Back throw by Ken to get the corner. We see Chris, Chris Terry kind of playing at this rate. Oh man, the sweep again. That's something that's not too uncommon for Punk to throw out there a neutral punish counter. The right spacing, man. I've never seen Punk miss this many dive kicks so far or actually get punished. Chris Terry is playing at a certain range that Punk Level is just two. not ready for. Tets flew to Nitra. No one's ever ready for that. Possibly the throw, who knows? He, job, he Punk waited. the God showing signs. A slight weakness for Cetarian. He's playing at a really good range, too. I'm surprised, you know, Punk the God has, has not really kind of like walked forward within the medium range and played the ground game. Maybe that's why! Mm -hmm. And look, my man waited for the ding on that last wake up situation from Punk to get the punish on the OD wake up and now throw after throw. They're all finding its mark. Delay on the e on the OD fireball in the corner after pressure and Punk still trying to find a way out. Perfect parry, crouch jab, not a lot of damage, but the momentum still in Ken and Chris T's favor. Knocking at the door with the lights, just staggering the pressure, changing up the timing, looking for a counter hit opportunity against Punk. And Punk finds himself out of the corner up until that moment. Man, he is pressing all the wrong buttons in all the wrong places. Chris Tatarian, level two. You already know what it is. Right. Tets flew to Nitra. And the perfect on top of it. Team point right here. Excuse me. Player match point right here. Wow. Complete turnaround. So much composure. That is Chris Italian. Damn! That was a crazy 
stray jab that hit the pump the god for a full conversion into the crouching medium. Bro, wait, uppercut! How many times has he stuffed it over and over and again? Chris Terry is on one. Chris T. He's on one. Overhead. Punk is not ready to defend against it. And he is in trouble right now. Okay, okay, what do we got? Uh, right. burns him out. Puts himself in burnout as well, though. Tick throw. Needs to be careful of the strays. Needs to be careful of the strays. Oh, that was slick! Pays off, no longer. Is. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the punish counter. He committed to it. He committed Man, to the light end. He didn't want to spend it. And he, he burned out again. No, he just built it. He just got his drive gauge back. Chris and Terrence didn't even need to spend the super. He started things off really strong. That's 10 points for the side of Bandits.